Got the cannon. <laughs> Boom. Welcome to Pure Octane Garage. We bring you detailing information and other automotive goodness. I'm Ryan. I'm Brandon. And, uh, Do you yeah. want to know who this is? That's... I didn't name it. Oh. It's just, oh. A, it's just an Adams Polish's air cannon. Oh, okay. So we're going to talk about that. But, but first. Yes. If oh. you would be so kind as to, after the video, leaving a thumbs up. Yeah. We appreciate those. It just tells YouTube to recommend the video to others. If this video ends up sucking, we don't know yet because we're in the process yeah. of doing it, you can do that too. Exactly. Or leave a comment. And while you're there, we have merch. And the link is in the description below. Oh, you know what? It's not going to suck. That's not what this does. This is not a vacuum cleaner. It doesn't suck. It, it blows air. It does. And a lot of it, guys. Yes. All right. Well, we've got so let's here. get into this. Adams Polish's Air Cannon. Now, again, this is Adams branded. You could probably find this unbranded by another, you know, they're, they're rebranding some of their stuff. Adams Polish's <laughs> Air Cannon. Yeah. Um, this is the big boy. They have a junior version. Okay. And then this is the larger version. <laughs> and, Not the junior and version. And I've seen handheld ones too, right? Yes. And we used the little Master Blaster. Right. Um, different brand. I don't know what brand this is because Adams puts their name on this. I'm sure it's made by somebody. You know, a lot of the products are, you know, like the step stools and all that. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, they've picked, this, you know, they pick good quality products to put their name on um, right. for these detailing tools. And uh, this has proven to be one of my favorite additions recently. Um, other than that step stool of theirs that we really liked. Uh -huh. well, I don't have Check that big that truck video. anymore, so I don't need the step stool quite as much. Fair point. Fair point. This. I use every time. Yeah. Um, so, so let's go over it a little bit. First thing is first, this hose expands, and we'll show you guys that outside. Um, it's 30 foot hose. So there's. there's there. <laughs> <laughs> you guys Sorry. make of that what you will. All right. <laughs> We're going to disconnect it here. Uh, um, so, see, he's got an easy, uh, quick disconnect. There's a lot of hose. Latches in, and Ryan's going to keep laughing. <laughs> there's a lot of hose here. I like it's got a nice grip. Yep. Check There's a nice out. foam uh, grip there to hold and, on to. And the end, what's the word, rubberized? Yeah, it's a, it's a nice rubber tip. It's not going to mark up or uh, okay. scratch or ding because <laughs> it's not metal. And uh, that's removable. There's a, they send another, oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. You get two with this one. Um, you get the little flat, you know, blade here, duck bill kind of looking thing. Or you that one. Use whichever one you want. Again, rubberized over the plastic. Um, and they lock on. You know, they go in and lock down. Here, I'll show you guys. So you, okay. Oh, now, easy. I'm gonna tell okay. you something that's happened to me. Only right. once. Yes. I, you can see this kind of moves and you're doing this a lot. I actually had the hose disconnect back here on me once. Okay. This thing is, is pushing some serious air. Okay. The hose will start flailing on you if you're not <laughs> careful. Um, hasn't happened again. I don't, and this was when I first got it. So I probably was doing something wrong. I haven't had User that problem. User error. So, Hasn't happened again, but so be careful, <laughs> be aware. And another thing I want to talk about, this thing, like we said, is very powerful. I don't remember the power rating off the top of my head, but for this one, you do have to plug this into a 20 amp circuit on your oh. house. If you don't, you will trip your, you'll, rip, you'll break your circuits. Break your circuits. You'll <laughs> trip the circuit. You'll trip the circuit, yeah. guys. That would sure, you know, be frustrating. You get the thing yeah. home and you go to use it and, you know, yeah. Ooh, trips like, the breaker <laughs> and yeah. you're like wait now my car's drying and i can't get to dry it because i gotta go flip the power back on yeah yeah so um ah. the junior the junior is fine on a 15 amp circuit but, okay uh, just keep that in mind and i didn't know that in the beginning actually i got lucky because uh i have a vacuum in the garage and it's plugged into its own dedicated and it happened to be on a 20 amp and i nice. use that i switch them when we plug this in okay i would have been frustrated i would have been frustrated i wouldn't yeah, know like, what's going on where did i get something that that is flawed i'll admit i didn't read the directions maybe it's in there yeah. who reads directions it's Look, come on straightforward <laughs> yeah um anything okay we're gonna go on here we got the power switch uh-huh you can dial in how much uh power oh, you want to use i didn't even realize that minimum maximum nice dial here mm -hmm. um and uh we got I think probably, okay, one of the most important things, guys, the casters are cool. They're like rollerblade wheels, you know? Okay, nice casters. But the most important thing, there's brakes. Ah, yes. See, you got a nice click the brakes on here. This thing's not going to go rolling into your car. And that, Yes, and, and that's great, too, because even my driveway has, has quite a, an angle to it. Yeah. 
And uh, you don't want that. Yeah, I don't want it rolling around on me. A um, couple other things. There is a filter. Oh, it does have look, a filter. Look at the dirt in hey, there. Hey, you need to clean that. It's probably time to clean that one out. You can tell he's actually been using this because yeah, there's dirt in there. Yeah. So it's drawn in from back here and it heats the air. Oh, that's, you know, I've, I've lived good. in cooler, cooler climates and drying a vehicle when it's cool out there, it can be frustrating. Now, I take a long time when I use this. I use this for primarily 95% of the full drying of the okay. vehicle. So I'm using it for quite a while when I use it. We live in a what? Hot climate pretty much. Most of the year. Oh, I see where you're going. That, draw, that hot air <laughs> actually gets pretty hot in your hand. Okay. This hose gets pretty warm. And I think that might be when it disconnected on me once. I think the, the plastic here got really hot and mm -hmm. just pumped. <laughs> yeah. Uh, has, again, hasn't happened again. It makes again. sense. Might be what it was. I still don't know exactly, but you'll feel the heat in that in uh, the 110 degree temperatures when you're using it. Yeah, I, I can understand so that. Gotta, that. Sometimes yeah. I shut it down and just do a little towel dry while I'm waiting and click it back on. Um, all winter, all fall, when it's very temperate here, mm. never a problem. Yeah. Um, got a nice long Ooh, cord. Nice long cord. And let's see what else. That's it. So now I'll kind of talk about how we use it, right? You've used, yeah. it, a few, you've used it a few times. I've only you, used right? it a few times. You definitely have more time with it. So I do. So I, the reason I was drawn to it, don't you hate all the water that drips out your mirrors? All the seams? You've got seams all over that car. Joints, doors. Um, excuse me. I'm having trouble thinking. <laughs> no. You know, okay, so you got a shark fin antenna, right? Oh, those. Oh, those things drip uh, forever, yeah, right? Roof, yeah. roof rails. All those little areas yep. where water hangs out. Oh, yeah. And then if you don't get that water out, it sits there. And what's in water? Minerals. Yeah. You'll get that little bit of buildup, and it's gross. Especially, on, especially here. Especially a black car or something. You're going to see that white calcium deposits mm -hmm. just that crusty hard, on there. Where, right where we are, mirrors. hard water. Yeah. yeah. So another, I mean, a good advantage of using something like this. And if your car is coated... That's really when you'd use one. I personally think this is when this kind of uh, item comes in really handy. That's why I was saying I can do about 95% of all the drying because the hydrophobics are so good with some of these Got products, it. the sealants and uh, ceramic coatings. It, you just blow the water right off. Whew, it's gone. It just shoots it right off. You know, just a little work. I like to kind of flip the hose over my shoulder so it's okay. not banging on the car. Yeah, not you know? right. Dangling but, and hitting the car. Got it. That's that. And, and then one other tip. Wear hearing protection. Yeah. <laughs> when you're blowing that fast moving air in the seams and on the car, it, it'll kill your hearing, guys. Don't do not do that. So I just keep a little plugs, even AirPods or something, listen to some music. That's it for this. Uh, I think uh, from here we go show this thing in action. Okay, so you've just washed the vehicle. We've rinsed it really well. What we're going to do now uh, is we're going to grab this air can and start drying. Uh, I like to work top down. Knock down all that water off the top. So just dry it. You know, just blowing right, blowing that air right over the top of the vehicle. Go ahead and hit the roof rack. You know, your, your shark, in, shark fin antenna area. Any of the seams you have on the top of your vehicle where the tailgate attaches or your trunk lid or something like that where you're coming down, window frame. Uh, go ahead and work your way down and like, hit those seamed areas. The gutter, the roof ditch. Um, knock that out. Move down hood. We're going to knock down, you know... Um, the wipers, the cowling. Cowl, yep. Got that, um, all the seam around your hood. And go back and let's, let's hit the windows. Knock that trim around the windows. All those door seams. Keep cleaning the water off the complete door area, of course, while you're working. Door handles. The door handles, yeah. Yep. A lot of water sometimes. Door handles hold a lot of water. And then get down low. I like to even, uh, as you're working your way down, the fuel door. It's a good area to knock some water out of. Hey, let's flip around to the back of the vehicle. Again, around the glass. Rear wipers if you have one. Tail lights. Emblems. And, uh, of course, your bumper area and whatnot. Exhaust tips. Yeah, exhaust tip. Let's go ahead and hit the wheels since we've already done the sides of the vehicle. Bug nut area is a great idea. Even the bead of the tire. I finish at the front of the vehicle. Yeah. Got the grill. A lot of water and grills. Grill? Not, bar not barbecue grills. Mmm, barbecue. Mm. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of water held on the front end, all your air dam area. And it does take some work, don't get me wrong. You are going to be going back and forth over it a few times. But the tip I would say, and I should have said this earlier, is keep a microfiber towel, a drying microfiber towel handy, just in case, you know, there's some spots that just need a little bit of dab once in a while to 
knock the, the rest of that excess water away. Um, but that's it guys, that's pretty much the whole vehicle. Dried with an air cannon. Okay, you just saw the air cannon in use with our little bit of talking over the action, right? <laughs> yes. Um, hey, like I said, one of my favorite detailing pieces of equipment that uh, I've acquired over this uh, venture. I've acquired a lot more things since we started this channel, right? Yeah, well. <laughs> we've like, it's fun. Um, we we want to provide good information yeah, for our viewers. And we learn new stuff and try mm -hmm. new things. So um, great piece of equipment from Adams. Um, like I said, I do believe these products are sold if you search around. Um, I'm sure you can find something similar. It does I just know they back their products. So if it doesn't work, yeah. they're going to take it back. So why not buy it from the, the guys we trust? You know what I mean? But uh, good product. Uh, get yourself a yeah. air cannon. Easy blow some use. air. Yeah, it, 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 it blows. And just, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can dry your whole car, if it, especially if it's coated, guys. If you have a coated car, this is a very helpful thing. Yeah. If, and you know what I forgot to mention in that, all that video? I hope you guys stayed and paid attention, because if you didn't, you won't know anyways. But You tried something, what, didn't you? What, no, what, doesn't this, what does this minimize? <laughs> I know, no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was another thing. <laughs> Glad you stuck I, I, around because like we're remembering. Okay. You're basically touchless drying. You're minimizing adding oh. scratches to your vehicle. Yes. The uh, less you have to touch the surface, yeah. the better. So I completely slipped my mind in the beginning. Well, hey, that um, was a bonus. Bonus. Th even, even though it was super important, <laughs> that's a very big point. But everybody watches the whole video, so it's yeah, not so, a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but... You also did try this on a vehicle that had no sort of yes. hy hydrophobic properties, exactly. no coating. Yeah, it sits outside. It takes a beating in our uh, it didn't, weather. It, it didn't. was actually almost harder to dry. Sure, you'll still this. get the water out of the tail lights and, yeah, or the, the mirrors and the that. handles. But just trying to work the water, if you guys saw how easy the beads roll off with something like this, when there's that friction sur frictionized yeah. surface, it's frictionized. I think I made up a word. Um, I like it. It doesn't, doesn't work well. I'd almost say don't bother. <laughs> yeah. it, it'll make you mad, actually. I was like, screw this thing. I'm getting a towel. Right. <laughs> so anyways, yeah. So that's the two little tips there. But. So yeah, great, great tool for your detailing arsenal. And um, I guess that's all we need to say really at yeah. this point, right? So thanks again, guys. We appreciate you watching. You guys have another method you like to use yeah. for driving the vehicles? Let us know. Let, let us know. We uh, read the comments. So until the next video, thank you. Bye. Hey, Brandon, check out my hose. <laughs> Editor, don't use that. <laughs> nope, that's the one. This doesn't suck. It blows. Wow, this is, this is a fun juvenile item, isn't it?